Hello, hello, welcome. We're going to look at how to provide solution to this beautiful equation. The equation is 81 divided by x to the power x multiplied by x to the power y equals to 1 over x to the power y multiplied by y to the power x. x, y are integers. Find the value of x and y. Solution. Let's write the equation. We have 81 over x to the power x, y to the power y, equals to 1 over x to the power y, y to the power x. So let's cross multiply. Cross multiply. We cross multiply here. Here, this will give us it will, uh, This will give us x to the power x, y to the power y times 1. So that will give us x to the power x, y to the power y, equals to 81 times this. That will give us 81 x to the power y, y to the power x. So here, let's divide, divide both sides by, let's divide both sides by y to the power x and x to the power y. So this implies we have x to the power x, y to the power y equals to 81 x to the power y, y to the power x divided by y to the power x, x to the power y. Here to y to the power x, x to the power y. Here, let's rearrange this equation, uh, this expression. So here, you see that we have x to the power x, y to the power x. Then we'll have y to the power y, x to the power y. So here, from the top, both expressions here are having exponent of x, x, and this one's half on y. So we can break this one as x to the power x divided by y to the power x multiply by y to the power y and x to the power y equals to x to the power x will cancel x to the power x y to the power will cancel y to the power y equals to 81 so here we apply this in this rule in this is rule if you have a over a, a to the power m b to the power m is equals to a over b raised to the power m so let's apply this rule there. So here we can write this one as x over y with the power x. Because both of them have an x to the power x as an exponent. Multiply. Here will give us y over x with the power y. Both of them have y as exponent. It goes to 81. So here. <coughs> We can reverse this. Look at this. We have x over y here, y over x. So we want to change this one. So let's look at this rule. If you have a over b raised to the power y, it's the same as or raised to the power m. It's going to give us b over a raised to the power minus n minus m. So we apply this rule to the second part of the product. So this will give us x over y raise the power x multiply by so re let's reverse this one so this will give us x over y raise the power minus y equals to 81 so here we apply this rule if you have a to the power m multiply by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n so here our a is x over y so apply this rule, we can have x over y raised to the power x plus minus y, because the exponent here is minus y, equals to 81. So here we have x over y raised to the power x minus y equals to 81. Now we are going to express 81 in the form of this. So 81 can be expressed as 
81 can be expressed as follows 1 81 can be written as 81 over 1 raised to the power 1 so that here will be considered as the base and this one considered as exponent or 81 can be written as 9 over 1 squared you see 9 over 1 squared the same as 9 squared and that will give us 81 or 81 can be written as 3 to the power 4 3 over 1 raised to the power 4 and that also give us 3 over 4 so here we are going to try this and see the one that can give us the values that will be integers so case 1 we have x over y raised to the power x minus y equals to 81 and the 81 is written as 81 over 1 raised to the power 1 so in this case x y is equals to 81 and x minus y is equals to 1 that is the exponents are equal and the bases are also equal so here we can write this one as cross multiply we get x equals to 81 y so substituting x equals 81 here we can have here as what 81 y minus y equals to 1 so here we have 80 y equals to 1 so we have y equals to 1 over 80 so not an integer not an integer so we ignore ignore the pseudo in the value so case one case one is what is not accepted let's look at case two in case two we have 81 equals to 9 over 1 squared so here we have x over y raised to the power x minus y equals to 9 over 1 squared so comparing the base and exponent here x over y is equals to 9 over 1 and the exponent we have x minus y equals to 2 so here we have x equals to 9y so put 9y in place of x here so we have 9y minus y equals to 2 so dividing through we have 8 sorry let's subtract 9y minus y will give us 8y equals to 2 so divide here by 8 and divide here by 8 we get y equals to 1 fourth that is not also an integer not an integer not an integer so what do we do we ignore this answer ignore case 2 so now let's get back to the case 3 case 3 in case 3 81 is same as 3 over 1 raised to the power so this implies x over y raised to the power x minus y is equals to 3 over 1 raised to the power 4. So here we have x over y equals to 3 over 1 and we have x minus y equals to 4. That's the exponent. So here we get x equals to 3y so placing that one in place in this x here we will have x minus y will give us 3y minus y equals to 4 so here we have 2y equals to 4 divide here by 2 and divide here by 2 so we get y equals to 2 now y is 2 and that is integer so it's an integer so we accept that one so now let's bring y value into this equation so if y equals to 2 so this implies that our x is equals to 3 times 2 so that will give us x equals to what 3 times 2 give us 6 so therefore we conclude that 
x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 2. These are the solution sets. So x, y is, is, is equal to 6, 2. These are the values for the x. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please share, like, and comment. And subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.